Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a product which is all to do with me recently having my hair highlighted, which I have to admit has been a really, really great positive experience and we're just over a week now and I'm really, really coming to terms and really getting used to having brighter, lighter hair. So it's certainly something which I really am enjoying. But what I didn't necessarily think about was the product's aftercare, which you have to use to look after to keep those highlighted pieces much more vibrant and the colour which you, you came out of the hairdressers with. So, for example, I wasn't really very sure at all, never ever had lightened hair at all. Um, and after speaking with the person who done my hair, it was suggested that I bought this product. Now I quickly realised that this product was not the product which was used on me in the hairdressers to achieve the colour which I had. And if you can just see, because I know the lighting um, in the room I'm in particularly isn't amazing, so I'm just going to use the YouTube light, which I, when I say YouTube light, it's it's really good at sort of directing light in areas, but you can see from this direction the lighter pieces throughout my hair. So having showed you that, you will see that it's very light in places and you can see that it's not a warm blonde, it's a real icy cool tone and it's almost to the point of being grey in places and that's what I liked. I was given the option whether I wanted a really warm uh, blonde or if I wanted something in the middle, if I wanted to go really icy, really cool to the point of being really, really grey and that's what I wanted. And in certain lights, you can really see that it's really, really lightened up in areas and as you can see, it's really silvery, which is really, really nice. As you can see more, it's pretty spectacular, actually, because I never actually thought in a million years my hair would lighten up like that at all and look really, really good in the style. Very often I like a lot of volume in my hair, like it's slicked back over at the top, volume in the front, slicked back and then into a nice point towards the back here. So I thought to myself, OK, so I was a couple of days in and I've used this about three times. So this product here is Goldwell Dual Senses for Blondes and Highlighted uh, and Highlights, sorry. And it's anti-yellow shampoo colour protection. That's 250 mils. So that was £12. Hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I purchased it. But I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm trusting the person. I've never ever had lightened hair at all before. I'm trusting them. This is the product which they suggested I used and apparently this was going to last me three months and I only needed to use a very small amount each time and I'd need to use it perhaps once a week, twice a week at the very most. Now when I had this done throughout my hair it took a lot of time to achieve it I have to admit um, and there was all sorts of products looking after my hair and making sure I got the right tone. Um, and there was a particular product which was really, really purple and almost really quite blue. Um, and I thought that that was what this was, especially because you'll probably see from the top here as well that where I've used it, it's gone ever so purple underneath the packaging, ever so, ever so slightly, as you can kind of just see here. And when you put this into your hands, squeeze this into your hands, it's purple. And you think to yourself that it is going to be purple, but it doesn't. It very, very quickly lavers into white and then the purple is completely gone. So I used this once, washed my hair through a bit, left it on as they said at the hairdressers for a couple of minutes. Didn't do anything to my hair at all in terms of brightening up the highlights because my hair was so, so dark. Um, it was it was said that naturally, just, the, just naturally that it may come back through a little bit more yellow, sort of natural process, just because of what your hair naturally tries to, I suppose, to throw back because of the color what you naturally are. And of course, that's where sometimes that yellowing can happen. Um, now I'm not necessarily sure on that at all, but I was told if I use this product, it would sort of knock the, the yellowness back and I thought being a purple shampoo, the opposite side of the colour wheel of course with yellow, those brassy tones, um, perfect, didn't need to worry about it at all. I used it once and as I say, no, no, not at all. Um, and I, when I first came to my channel and I and I uh, done the clip in regards to having had highlights, I told you about this product which I was given and I said when I used the product I was going to review that, so that's what we're doing today. My first use of this, no, didn't really like the product at all but I thought to myself okay for the price I've paid and for the quality product because I know it's a professional brand so I thought to myself let's just give it a fair trial so I would use it several times. And I've used it three times and I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about it. So on the front here it's got anti-yellow shampoo, it's for blondes and highlights by Goldwell and Jewel Sensors. Luminosity for blonde hair. Now on the back here it's got shampoo for blonde and highlighted hair blended with micro 
uh, protec complex and luminescence instantly brings out color luminosity and neutralizes unwanted yellow tones for blonde hair reflections as gentle as water the unique fade stop formula minimizes color fading with every use work through wet hair lather and rinse thoroughly now for me this is almost just like when I recently uh, had a change of colour to my hair from where my hair was coming through brassy and I done it myself to a really nice dark colour. Um, I'm not one into colouring my hair at all, but you may think by listening to that that I am, but I'm certainly not. Every year my hair gets very, very brassy in the summer. What I usually do is have it cut shorter, if I have it cut into to get rid of the brassiness cut out of it. Because of the coronavirus pandemic this year, I haven't been able to do that. So... Before I got my hair cut, what I done is I chose a colour, I done my research and wanted something really masculine, really cool looking, and I really, really liked the dark, sleek colour which came through it, made all my 1910s, 1920s inspired slick back styles really really cool but very quickly i noticed that color washed away because i didn't want such a commitment i wanted to be really soft and gentle on my hair and scalp so i chose something such as a demi permanent which is really quite not um not a permanent not so much of a commitment you could say in regards to coloring your hair so done that and then i thought to myself uh, i want to really try and keep this color so i picked a color shampoo and it was really really great and a conditioner I had a really great experience with it it was from the gunny ultimate blends range and you could tell that that was designed to look after color this you can tell is designed to look after color but you wouldn't think it was for blonde hair i don't think at all okay Okay, when you squeeze it into your hands, it's purple, but it doesn't stay purple at all. It washes into white, and then you don't see any purple at all in there. So my thinking is, how can it neutralise yellow tones when there isn't no purple in there after you've rinsed it through? Um, for me, what it does do after using it the second and third time, first time didn't notice any difference at all. To me, if there is such a thing, it was too gentle, and you needed something for a little bit more oomph in the product. But this... Looking at it as the whole sort of spectrum as a review for it, it is a good product, it is a quality product, but from the aspect of looking after your hair if it is coloured and making it shiny and appear healthy. So the lighter bits in my hair were really soft and really moisturised and really shiny. They weren't neutralising the colour of the yellow tones, which was only coming through in the front ever so slightly, the back not at all. And to be honest with you, I didn't even really have to worry about it because it was coming through and it was still a very nice colour. But because I had that real nice silvery tone, first of all, when I had it done, that's what I wanted to keep up. So I thought this product would do that for me. Sadly, it hasn't. Um, I do really like the product, having said that, though. Would I buy it again? No. The reason I like it is because it does give a really nice shine throughout all of my hair, not just the lightened pieces, throughout all of my hair. And it's really, really nice. It's got a really nice smell, and you can just tell the quality is certainly there. So from that aspect, for the professional product, amazing. Do I like the price? For a £250, uh, 250 pounds, for a 250 mil product, no, not really £12. I had a look online, and you can get this for a little bit cheaper, but not too much. It is quite an expensive product for around that sort of price range. I have paid less, and I've had better results. Um, but of course, I've never had lightened hair at all before. You will see that when I showed you my hair with what I call my YouTube light, you can see really silvery. And this is not through this product. This is through me having to purchase another product because I wanted that silver product back. But that will be coming on another review really soon. But for now, this product is really, really good. But it's not great at getting rid of yellow tones, in my opinion. Somebody somebody else might think that, that it's an absolutely fantastic product for that. But for me, I just find it too gentle. It says as gentle as water on here. I would agree with that. Um, it does leave your hair really healthy. It does leave your hair really moisturised and shiny. But it doesn't do anything for neutralising those tones. And you may think, do I actually have those tones come through? I do. So in the back here, just use my light again. In the back here, it's really silvery. In the front these pieces which you can see actually started to go ever so slightly yellow and you can see more here these started only in the front section of my hair for some reason started to go really quite yellowy and i thought to myself not necessarily yellowy but more of a what we know as a traditional blonde color and i thought i really didn't like that up against my darker hair in between so I thought to myself, OK, I've got to think about getting a different product. Um, so I have, but I'm not going to give that away which product I have used. I'm going to do that in another review. But I just used this and I thought to myself, OK, they've said to me I use it once, twice a week. I think I used it. 
I had it done on the Saturday, I used it on the Thursday, I thought, hmm, it's not as silvery, it's not as bright as on the Saturday at all, so then I used that on the Friday, and then I used that again yesterday, which was Saturday. So I've used it three times, and thought to myself, hmm, yeah, not impressed in terms of getting the yellow, the sort of, when I say yellow, I don't mean like a real vivid yellow, I mean like that traditional sort of blonde colour, which, um, wasn't for me. Really didn't want that against my dark hair at all. I wanted that really sort of metallic-y, silvery colour. Otherwise, of course, when I had it done on the Saturday, I would have said I wanted a warmer, more natural sort of uh, blonde colour, which I didn't. I wanted a really cool, uh, a really cool, icy tone, which, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really happy with it now. So it's really, really cool. I really like how I've got it styled today. And just gone out and place a little bit, I can see. But yeah, really, really like that. So this was all about reviewing this product here. Would I buy this again? As I say, no. Would I recommend it? Give it a try. Of course, for cost, it might well work better for somebody who's got a lot more blonde hair. Of course, I've only got very natural sort of fine highlights throughout my hair. But having said that, I thought then because I've got less of the blonde throughout my hair, this would have worked really, really well. It's great at looking after coloured hair, I believe, in my opinion, in terms of health, moisture, shine. But for neutralising yellow tones and brassiness, no. Sorry about that, Goldwell. <laughs> but nevertheless, a good product all the same. So give it a try. If you do have a look at it, you do um, go and get your hair done in a hairdresser or what have you, whether you're a man or a woman, and they do advise this product to you, just be a little bit mindful. Perhaps ask a few more questions, because I wish I would have asked a few more questions. How often sort of would I need to use this product? They said to me once, twice a week. For me, I think this is just like an everyday sort of colour, looking after a colour uh shampoo to be honest you're looking after your colored hair um, and it says here for color protection so i just wonder really if they're selling it as like a purple or a toning shampoo and it's not at all it's sort of like your everyday color protection shampoo because it does say here for blondes and highlights but of course if your hair's dyed blonde and you've got lighter hair anyway that's going to be different to as opposed to if you've bleached it from dark to really really light then of course you're going to get that natural sort of throwback of yellowy tones in there from my understanding anyway um so this then on that aspect wouldn't be so good for you my thinking anyway. Okay, so there we go. Thank you very, very much indeed for watching my clip today. And until next time, where I will be showing you how I get my silvery tones back in my highlighted hair. And just giving you the one last look, as you can see, it is silvery in place. It is almost white in places, which I absolutely love. And it looks a bit strange, doesn't it? But I'm using using my sort of, as I call it, YouTube lights. Um, it's a circle light which which highlights the, the video so much more better. So that's what I'm trying to incorporate now into my clips here. But anyway, there we go. So you've seen the look, what I like. This wasn't achieved by the gold well, but I will be showing that in due course. Anyway, bye for now. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.